Hey, folks, welcome to Verified Investing. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here at In The Money Stocks. Dot com. In today's video, folks, we're going to look at retail stocks, which are tumbling over the last week or two, some even for longer. And this makes a lot of sense because as the, the, the whole society as America opens back up, you're going to see less money spent on retail goods and more money spent on uh, vacations and going out and doing things. So there's been a big run in retail stocks, but you are seeing it come to an end. There is more downside in retail stocks, and we're going to get right into that in just one second. Before I do, don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gareth Soloway, and you can also come to inthemoneystocks.com, and under my name at, on the top of the website, you'll see a drop down with my two services, Verified Investing Alerts and Verified Option Alerts, uh, Verified Investing Alerts, Swing Trade Alerts, daily videos, live broadcasts once a week. It is awesome. Um, to put it in perspective, folks, uh, 194 closed out trades in 2020 so far for a 1,761% profit net. All right, so pretty good stuff there. All right. Going back to the chart, you can see Home Depot's up here. Home Depot, this is a classic topping pattern. You can see over and over again, it tries to pop up. And each time, especially here was your highest pivot, lower high, lower high, lower high. And all it has to do now is really break this low end right here. And you could be doing that today, folks. So keep an eye on this. If this does break lower, you have significant downside on Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot actually could go all the way down to this is my short-term target at around 247. And if you get a bigger sell in the market, so this is just the target if the markets continue to kind of chop around with small pullbacks here and there. If you get a bigger pullback, you're looking at a potential move down to this gap fill at $160 which would be basically a 100-point drop on Home Depot. Now, Home Depot is not an outlier here. As I mentioned, uh, retail stocks are seeing a top across the board. This is very, very important to recognize. The thought process is pretty easy to grasp. Again, just to reiterate, you have a scenario where as things reopen, people are going to start spending money on vacations, on going places, on doing things outside the house with the kids and not buying online. Right? They're not going to be buying the same amount of money. They're not going to be spending just as much money as they were during the pandemic when they couldn't spend it on anything else on retail stuff. So it's a very clear, uh, concise thesis here that you can already see smart money is unloading stocks. Um, just to give you a sense, take a look at, um, let's take a look at Best Buy, right? So look at this Best Buy chart. Look at the sell-off in Best Buy here, folks. This is a pretty dramatic drop on Best Buy, and this has a clear short-term target of around $90 and change. There's a big gap fill here. Gaps are generally made to be filled. Uh, price will get drawn into that gap. Doesn't mean we won't have a bounce day. In all fairness, you're now down if we counted out two, four, six, eight, nine days in a row. So it, it is due for a very quick bounce, but I don't think it's a long-lasting bounce, and ultimately, you're going to head down to that target. If you look at other st uh, stocks, um, let's just take a look at Target. Target's been one of the hottest retail trades, if not the hottest, in 2020. Uh, but look at the rollover just today alone, let alone on the daily chart here over the last week or so. Uh, Target has a lot of downside. If I had to gauge where this is going to head at some point in the next three months, I would say this is your target here. And again, it's not that Target's not a great company. It's not that Home Depot's not a great company. It's that there's going to be just a natural shift away from spending so much money on um retail stuff, whether it's stuff for your house or stuff for your yard or stuff for your home office or stuff for your kids, it's going to be a shift away from that. Now, you'll still get some of that, but it's going to go back to a more normalized level aside from what we've seen during the pandemic as people shift money to vacations. I've said this before, but you know, my family, we bought lots of stuff for the kids, play structures in the backyard, you name it, um, during the pandemic because we couldn't go do much. Well, guess what? Now that things are looking to reopen, I've already booked a cruise. I'm going to book like a month at an all-inclusive uh, vacation place, probably in Mexico or the Caribbean. You know, there's this things that I'm going to do where we're going to spend a lot of money on that versus spending money on retail stuff. We're going to buy less, and that has to be taken into account on names like Target, uh, Walmart, uh, Best Buy, uh, you name it. You know, 
Dick Sporting Goods, you know, all these type of things should see a pullback. So that's the thesis of today's video. Understand what's going to happen here. If you understand it, you can profit from it. Um, I am short some of these retailers, uh, and I do think that we're going to see more downside in them. Um, we have seen retail names like, like uh, KSS, which haven't pulled back yet because these were laggards. You can see, look at the big run up. But I do think that this is going to have a big level right in here. There's a gap fill right in this range. And if you can get to this, this is a great shorting opportunity on Kohl's. Um, you can also look at Macy's has had a really a remarkable move here um, in the short term. That's actually putting in a doji short term today. So a lot of these ones that are were smaller that are seeing short squeezes and and they they kind of were the crappier you know plays versus a target. They're now seeing um, the big move come to an end while the other ones have already rolled over. So we'll continue to follow these. Again, come find me at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Folks, this is where you want to come uh, if you want live my live trades. Every time I do a swing trade, I post the exact entry, the exact stop, the exact target. Uh, my exits are posted as well live. Uh, it's all time stamped. It's all verified. Um, my goal is to give average investors insight and the ability to follow every trade I do. So that's what we do here at TheMoneyStocks.com. Again, my services, verified investing alerts, verified option alerts. Come find me, come join it. And again, watch the videos. The daily videos I do have tons of educational analysis in them, um, whether it's measured moves, whether it's uh, time counts and cycle work, all that stuff is in those daily videos I post. Have a great one, guys. Take care.